Good evening, my friends. My Friday evening with you, but it will be posted in the morning. So today is Friday, the 20th of October. Today I had a live, uh, well, I had a Zoom video with Linda and it's posted on her channel. So if you like to, to see what questions we were asking each other, it was wonderful experience as usual. And I have quite a few things for for today video. Uh, I want to first announce that I still have uh, four more weeks of doing the yeah. So if you would like to participate in a free reading, please write your comments under this video and you might be the lucky winner of the, um, the the reading is donated by Janet and Tom Burks. So take advantage of it and just write your comments Monday when I will be on the live stream with Cheryl. I will find the, the person who, who won. Okay, in this video, I will be talking about oops, where is my second part? Hmm. Of course I lost a few. Oh yeah. So I will be doing uh, oh one of my predictions came true, so in this video I will be talking about that. And uh, will Biden's health take him out of the race? That's the question. Government shutdown. And we were talking about this as well with Linda. How to stop epidemic in uh, epidemic of loneliness. So many people are lonely. Will human be able to abandon the wars? about marine lives in ocean so many because the waters are more warmer will donald trump pull out of the race will they found out and punish the person or persons who are right who are making those messages on by phones to the congress people who are against jim jordan and that's quite interesting thing. Will the Trump's grip on Republicans loosen up? What is going on to happen in the Middle East? So all those recent questions about politics. And not only. And glue, uh, glue not glitter. One month ago, Violetta, you said that you saw the hurricane coming from Western Canada. Usually in east, uh, east side of Canada there are some, but on the west, so she pointed that I'm from BC and I must admit, I brushed this off and then she was surprised that that was what was happening, that the winds and hurricane, and this way now the season is getting much more nasty and we have to pray for for better weather because uh, i'm worried that we will have really in western part of north america we might have a very again a lot of snow and the last year we didn't have too much in Alberta, but this year I'm worried that we might have far more snow than the last year. Robin Pigs is asking, <coughs> excuse me, will Biden's health take him out of the race 2024 for presidency? And when I closed my eyes, I saw him and Kamala sitting on a double chair it's like it's like a throne and they are sharing the chair which is not the symbol of presidency but i don't see him withdrawing i think he will be going but she will be more 
more visible as vice president. So that's what I have seen. Good harvest for him. Going to the top, which is great, but up and down, struggling with some health issues probably as well. So, well, this age, it's getting, I usually don't take naps, but today I took a nap. I thought, why not? Linda said she is cheating, she's taking naps, and I thought, I can do that too, <laughs> once in a while. It's, you know, tomorrow after I will post video, I will be running to, to work and then I have a very busy evening, so it will be fun, but as well, I will have to be ready for the evening. I don't think I will have any time tomorrow to have naps, so today I took it. Okay, Robin Pigs, will Biden's health, oh, that's okay. Yeah. Kli Kai Love. Question about the government shutdown in USA. Will registration pro protect the members of the court, Coast Guard and other criminal roles like air traffic receive their pay during the shutdown? And I saw symbol of dehydration. And you know, when you are dehydrated, your skin will stand up. It will not go down, it will be like... So that means that people will be drained out of the money, probably dehydrated from the money. Just the simple. But that's what I'm seeing, and I will see what else the cards will tell me. Well, eventually the harvest will be good. There will be, uh, some people will be cheated for, out of the money and they will have to make decision much faster. It, it looks like everything will be good because every card is about money. So th they might not write those new rules, but uh, I don't think that the government will be You know, there will be a new speaker, and now they are going through how in the Republican Party. Today, Jim Jordan was out of the race. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> well, he should have been not even accepted for the race, but uh, his colleagues, more than half of them, told him get lost. No, more than 112 was voting no, and 89 or 98 was voting that they want him to still go and fight. So he noticed that he's not too popular. It's a wave to, to Trump. Trump must be afraid. His popularity is not in the strong, not the strongest. They don't have the, the last word to say. Okay. Okay, number six. Song Wolf. What can you da be done regarding the loneliness epidemic? And I thought what I will be doing if I will feel lonely. And that day might come one day to me. I thought, wow, well, there is a golden circle in our city. I would definitely go there and take some courses or give some courses. When I was very young, I was giving cooking courses <laughs> in one institution. They wanted, so I thought, why not? I was working as a volunteer and I was doing cooking courses. But I will try to do something that will excite me. Maybe I will take some computer lessons. Master after dinner, because now I need them, but I don't have the time. But if you are lonely, try it to, to, to go somewhere where you can find people that will have the same interests as you are. 
and uh, that way you will feel that belong that you belong to that group and don't be afraid if you don't like the uh, those people you can change the if you play chess go do that if you want to do some crafts go for that i know in the small places it's much harder but try to do something that will give you some excitement. I did reading for one lady quite a few years ago, and she met her second husband by playing chess on the in through the internet. And then after a few months, they got married. <laughs> yeah. Nothing will come to you. You have to go and take your chances. Whatever will be enriching your life, you have to feel like you are in control of your life. And yes, loneliness will be sometimes knocking to your doors, but try to be friend. If you are a friendly person to others, they will be coming back to you. Or do they go to the clubs where they read some books or discussions about books? Find absolutely something that you can enjoy and at the same time you're expanding the crowd of people who are doing the same. A lot of people are lonely, but the way you will plan your life, it will be very important to, I don't have time to feel lonely, but I have husband and I have Cheryl and I have kids. So it is, you know, and I'm doing reading, so I feel like I'm always busy with people and I'm enjoying my life because of that. Okay. Patty Tipo, oops, I lost my earring. <laughs> Patty Tipo, 7294. Do you think that the human race is capable of evol evolving to the point completely abandoning war forever? Maybe in 200 years, maybe there will be more willing to do that. Right now, I don't see that. Look, the wars are going and it's always something and we are on the edge of third war. I hope not, but you know, it is so many drama in the middle is so it's on the edge, like, so that's not a human nature, people. I don't know for what reason. They want to be aggressive and they want to be cruel to others. That's not normal, but that's how it is. Eventually, yes, they will be able to abandon. They will feel that all of them can be a winners if they will. But there will be still some dysfunctional ones that will be looking for problems. I can't promise you it's you can train the animals to be good with each other but not always i was just watching a wolf and a regular dog living under the same roof and they are fine but they grow up together and they understand each other of course the the, the dominant one is the the wolf he has to be always on the high, even on the table, to, to prove that I'm more important. And that will be always in the human nature, too, that I can dominate you. For what reason? Carol J. Jones, 260. The oceans are warming so fast. You think? Do you think eventually all marine life will die, or can they go north to deeper in the sea, in the oceans, for the colder water? I don't see the complete disaster. I think yes, they will be going. The all the species, you know, like few years older, they might not be able. To to be strong enough to go to the north 
but eventually nature is nature and nature will always survive. So even after nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, they still survive. Yeah, Mother Nature will be sharing the wealth with other and chances will be taken, but <clears throat> the, the animals will know that they have to go for the colder water, that they will understand that. It's like we do. We know how, when to pack and move. Excuse me. <clears throat> Jane, <clears throat> Jane Trouble, do you think that Trump will pull out of the race? Will all the problems coming to him, because all the problems coming to him and his company? And I saw him with the badly burned face, like he, he has... He will go through the disaster like a fire, and he will still be going. I don't see him being uh, capable of withdrawing himself before the election, and if he will have his people who will be, you know, responsible for for controlling the election, he will do exactly what he was doing three years ago. He is that kind of person. And I will see the cards are telling different story. He might be crying if he will lose. Intuitively, we all know. You all have that much intuition to know. And he always will think, I can do this, I can do that. The grass is greener there for me. He is a natural fighter. We might not like him. But so many people adore him because he is the way he is. And they want to be the same way. They feel that well, we can be a copycat of him. He is such a macho guy. He will be doing whatever it takes. He will be walking on the dead bodies if he has to. But he has to be the... He will preserve his own image, his own body. Today, when I was looking at him in the court, I thought, he looks tired. He looks tired. It, it is getting so much that he is pulled at every direction. And uh, he's not that young. So it's taking a toll on him. Okay, would the person or persons who are leaving nasty threats against politicians um, because they were not voting for Jim Jordan, you know, that they left so many messages for wives on the, and even life threats for those people in the Congress, would that person or those people will be Put to the justice. And I saw like they have to go in the roller coaster. So, yes, there will be some adventure for them, some roller coaster, something that they were, they will have a lot of excitement, a lot of drama, a lot of screaming, yelling, and I don't know how mentally they are. They will be protected because I don't think those are smart people if they are doing those uh, things. But they will be pulled to the justice. Eventually they will find out who they are. It might take a time. Especially if they were able to invest in those disposable, disposable phones. They might get away, but I have the feeling that they will catch them. And yeah, they will be pulled on the side to the prison. They will be trying to make a lot of decisions 
and balancing the lives. I will pull three more cards because they will be trying to run away from, from the justice. The family will be helping. The voices will be the, the thing that will people will recognize them by the voices. Oh, so that will be good. And they will be running and hiding. The FBI will put a lot of work, but they will win. So I bet they already have some clues who those people are. And so the justice will be served, for sure. It might take a lot of bit more because time is never easy for psychic to predict, but I think eventually they will be put on a leash and taken to the place of rest. And that will be the new adventure for them. Like, I don't know why they will even stand up for a guy like Jim Jordan. Why? What is attractive? in Jim Jordan. <laughs> they wouldn't put up with that guy for five minutes in close uh, room. Uh, but he's Trump puppet and they want to help Trump and that's what that is. Jordan was the extension. He was the tail, wavy tail of Trump and now he was hooked. We are happy. Betty. When will Trump grip on the Republicans uh, on Republicans loosen? The long time Republicans are to can no choice with many a base. Okay, so his grip on them would that be loosen up? Um I saw the butter. You hold the butter in your hand and it will eventually melt down through the fingers. So uh, he will have a grip but eventually it will loosen up and it will be nothing to hold on to. So he will lose the grip on the Republicans. And He's already losing. It's not the full full grip that he has on them. He's, they, are, they want to work without him. They want to be independent. And the family, yes, they are still Republicans' family, but there is never perfection in the family. There are always some ships in the family that go different direction. So I don't think he will be able to keep a grip on everyone and eventually he will be the black ship that they will notice. He is not good for us. He is not giving us a good reputation. We have to let him go. And they see 8270. What is going to happen in the Middle East? I hope I'm wrong, but I see eight targets. So I think another countries will get involved some ways. And it will be not a pleasant involvement. I hope it will not go to the point that is so dramatic, that is very dramatic. I just hope that they will be able to to tell Netanyahu stop what you are doing open the water give them electricity let them to have as normal life as possible let those trucks big tears coming and supply people with food because there is so many innocent people who are suffering and even Jewish people in par are protesting in the parliament against um, Benjamin Yahoo, what he is doing. So eventually they will have to stop him and uh, that will calm down the whole situation. 
because right now the, there is more and more drama going on. I will put three cards. And it was like target boards on the wall. In pubs in England, there was usually two, three that people were standing and throwing the darts and for the targets. This time I saw about eight. So there will be a lot of points of interest, points of drama everywhere. There will be, the doctors will be needed. A lot of work will have to be involved related to the way women are thinking for peace for, and security and safety. So there will be a lot of work, a lot of people from different countries will have to be involved to create a peaceful outcome. Okay. And now Granny's advices for heartburn. Half tablespoons of baking soda and water. Apparently it's very good for that. And drink fast. I know that a little bit uh, up vinegar with that might make you to, to have bubbles in your nose, but that that's... I don't know if that, but I, this one is saying one, half a tablespoon of uh, half teaspoon of baking soda and one glass of water and drink fast. Aloe juice, apple cider vinegar. So you have to make sure that when you are drinking apple cider vinegar with water, you are drinking through the straw. So your teeth are not going to be in jeopardy because it will soften the, the glossy stuff from your teeth. And sugar-free gum apparently is very good too. Bananas. And smoking is bad. So those things are and remedies for losing weight. Remember, this is for entertainment only, and I'm not a doctor. And so always check with your doctor or someone who can give you a good advice about those remedies. But uh, green tea is very good for losing weight and green coffee. The most successful can be green sausage. Don't do it because you will lose five pounds a day and you might be going under, so never go that direction. <laughs> that will be the, the most dramatic one. So don't do it. Okay, I, that was for joking and now I want to put a prayers for those innocent kids who are in Gaza, who are suffering, the mothers, the, the regular people who are suffering over there, and peace in Israel and in Gaza, that they will be able to, to have normal relationships like neighbors do, and they will be supporting of each other, not distracting each other. It is praying for miracles, but sometimes miracles happen. And maybe that will be something that will help them. And we still have to remember about people of Ukraine, that they will be safe and that something will happen to Putin and he will disappear and no one else will come in his place who will be the same way. So there will be, because in spring they have elections in Russia. So who knows, maybe they will re-elect someone who is far better than Putin. That will be another miracle because he is manipulating all the strings the way Trump tried to do it. And to Taiwan, that they will be safe. 
and that all of us, the whole world, will be safe from illnesses, from unhappiness. We deserve to be happy and live in peace. And it is slightly hard to even watch news because it's so much drama that we don't want to see it. So all the best. I'm sending the love and peacefulness and protection, umbrella of protection for the whole world that we will be living together and being happy. Okay? See you next, see you Monday on live stream. Thank you. Bye-bye.